Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for March 23rd to the 30th. This is Raven, who's like, let me go get all the birds, mother. <laughs> and I am Charlene Mulzat. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. If you are new, yes, if you are new, I hope you click that subscribe button and you become a part of our High Vibe community. Also, make sure to sign up to my mailing list over on my website. All the details are in the description box below so you can be the first to know when I post new content, when I am creating new jewelry, or whenever I'm doing really cool stuff for our community that's all outside of YouTube. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, to whom all my work is devoted to. A lot of you ask me, who is the Morrigan? The Morrigan is a Celtic goddess of war, death, prophecy. That's who she is. All right. Um, and so, you know, I've been thinking about doing a video around her, how, you know, how, how I knew the Morrigan was calling me. And, um, you know, without getting too much into depth, kind of like what my, uh, you know, what my work with her looks like. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get going. Woo, the Four of Wands. I uh, also got to share with you all, um, this is a deck, my first deck, actually. This is what I learned to row on. And so you can see that it's, um, it's I don't want to call it uh, raggedy because that's not the right word, but it's, it's, it's got a lot of love to it, okay? Um, also, my heater's at the bottom, so I apologize if there's a little bit of background noise. Okay, so Four of Wands, the Tower, Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Chariot. One, two, three, four, five. And for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Raven. Raven. You know you're not supposed to do that. Why do you do that? If you know you're not supposed to do something, why do you do it? Why? Thank you. Cool, don't worry, just drop the crystals, drop everything. I'm gonna pull out the rest of your cards first before I go into your reading. I am seeing a couple of things here, Capricorn, um, that are making me go, hmm. <laughs> we got the Ten of Cups at the bottom with the Two of Pentacles and then Death. Raven, thank you. Um, She's like, mother, I cannot help myself. I know you can't, you silly girl. Um, some of you have to make some type of move. There's some type of raven spitfire. Out you go. Yeah, don't meow me. You can sit right here. Do not try and climb that thing, please. Thank you. Um... There's a, there's, what I want to call it is there's, I don't want to use the word chaos, but I feel like I have to. Um, there, some chaos will ensue in your home life or um, in things that feel maybe potentially stable for you, but this chaos is actually good. I'm very much getting earnest energy from this tower card, uh, lightning strikes, something occurs, and it creates this massive upheaval almost but in that upheaval where there would be chaos and where you could potentially be like oh my god i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing you actually have a, a very very uh, not only grounded but very logical and methodical energy to you so as you're watching like uh, every i like every visualization i'm getting is not like a positive example um so let me give you an example okay so let's just use this because this is like i feel like softer softer blow so let's just say uh the kitchen's on fire and i do this because my kitchen's right there so let's just say the kitchen's on fire like there's a stove fire or whatever right that's chaos it's upheaval all of a sudden you walk into this chaos this upheaval and some people might be like, oh my God, the kitchen's on fire. And they might be like frantic, panicking, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, not knowing how to like fix the kitchen on fire. You're in this energy because I'm seeing you and you're looking at the tower and you're looking at what used to be the stability before the tower came down on that stability, on that celebration, on that, um, on that foundation. Um, 
and like she's got a smug look on her face <laughs> and, it, and it's not bad at all like I, I don't the, the Queen of Swords is a woman who has mourned who has faced adversity who has faced difficulties and challenges but she's figured out a way to turn them into opportunity and, and that's why the clouds are below her eyesight right because she knows that these things are below her uh, chaos conflict adversity difficulties challenges um and so on and so forth but she rules with this sword of clarity so while there is the chaos, right? So in this example, you can see the clouds, even like, let me see if I can zoom into her face. Like, do you see how she's just like, eh, okay. So whereas other people would be like, oh my God, the kitchen's on fire, the kitchen's on fire. You're just like, eh, okay. So now we need to go find the fire extinguisher, put the blaze out, call the fire department, clean up this mess. Are we safe? Cool. <laughs> so it's like, you've been through so much chaos, so much adversity, so many uh, difficulties or challenges in the past, that now, if this was like, if this, when this, I shouldn't say if, when this happens, they're gonna be like, okay, I don't know what to do. Um, so I don't feel like this is alarming at all. I actually feel like if this happens to you this weekend, if this resonates this week, uh, high fucking five to you for sitting in your power, for being very strong, for being very logical, rational, um, and analytical about things rather than emotionally driven. Crazy cat. The four swords sits right in the middle of your reading. And so when I, when I see this, to me, the middle card is always like the overcompassing energy of the week. Rest, recuperation, retreating, uh, self-care, self-love, super important um, for you this week. Because in being able to rest and being able to take care of yourself, you are taking charge. You are in control and you are in the driver's seat of your life. Towards the end of the week, you may kind of, you may kind of allow yourself to uh, fall into some type of escapism, um, some type of uh, illusion or dreamy energy. Now Willow's in here. Hello, hi. How can I help you? to see your schnoz at the bottom of the video. Um, and so what I'll say is just pay attention to what you're, what you're daydreaming about. Is it serving you for your highest good or not? Uh, daydreams are beautiful, but daydreams are also sometimes a, a result of indecision, right? Where we're like, mm, we have all these options, I don't know what to do, so I'm just not gonna do anything and I'm just gonna daydream. Um, because the Five of Swords is right beside it. So be careful that while you're busy daydreaming, somebody isn't trying to get the upper hand on you. Or when you are kind of like assessing your options, someone isn't maybe putting extra options in front of you so that you can be like, mm, I don't know what to do. Meanwhile, they're on the back end. Because to me, this Five of Swords is in your energy. To me, this is somebody kind of like working around you or trying to um, distract you. I don't know why I was doing this. Trying to just, yeah, because they're trying to like distract you. They're trying to like, be like, look at this thing. Meanwhile, you need to be focused on this thing, okay? Um, and the Ten of Cups is at the bottom, so I really feel like this all has to do with your emotional fulfillment, your happiness, your home, your life, um, the things that bring you joy, uh, whether they be relationships, family, whatever. That's too many. Can I get one for Capricorn's Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus? Uh, can we talk about that? Change. And we see that here, right? With the tower, with the four of wands, with the queen, change. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. I mean, movement in the tower. Even the guy walking with the wreath is movement. Movement in the chariot, in the chariot. Yeah, in the chariot, that's right, okay? And all this forward momentum, all this movement, for some of you, I'm gonna just say it out front, you, you might be moving homes, you might be leaving something, um, like a one home situation to another home situation. You might actually be like uprooting your home, um, uprooting your office uh, to another location um, and having choices as to where to go. Or you might start looking at um, selling your house, uh, moving rentals, etc. all for this. Okay, at the bottom of all, like at the bottom of the deck is this. This is what you care about. Your ten of cups, 
And so focus on that as you experience this week, that everything that you're doing, whether it's chaotic, whether it's uncomfortable, whether it's change and maybe you don't want it because a Saturn can be a very rigid energy that doesn't like change um, and you're ruled by Saturn. It's all for the 10 of cups. Now, let's get into your love portion. Let's get into the astrology. You know, I feel like, can I do this? Actually, yes, I'm going to do this because we are moving away from this part of the reading. Okay. 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 Can't really see the cards up there. I, I got a, can, what if I did this? There, that's a little bit better. Oh yeah, I can totally do that. There you go. That's problem solved. Okay. Let's get one of these. Fucking <laughs> cat. Inner wisdom, palace of theme. Yes. Trust that, use that. If you know how to read your natal chart or you have access to it, whether through an app like Astro Future or Astro.com, go see where the asteroid palace of theme sits um, to help you understand more about where you can use your gifted inner wisdom as you experience this transition. If you're interested in a private reading, either live or pre-recorded, uh, take a look at the description box below to book a reading with me. I offer uh, live readings, one-on-one, -on -one, one hour, and then I also offer pre-recorded services um, as well, depending on what you're looking for. And if you're into gemstone jewelry, crystal jewelry, take a look at Starcy Jewels. It's my uh, jewelry line. I hand make all the uh, pieces. I design them all myself, and they're modern-day amulets to help you tap into your limitless potential. Raven, yeah, you better be looking at the birds and not anything else, man. So you got the Empress. Ooh, I love this. You got the King of Wands. Oh, you got the Nine of Wands. And you got the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. For some of you, you may, you may very well be leaving a relationship. Um, for others of you, there is trouble in paradise. There is a big shift here um, in your home life at, uh, this week, or you're experiencing some type of adversity uh, in your love life. More than that though, the Empress with the King of Wands is uh, an energy, like to me when I look at this Empress card, I just get like you vibes. Whatever you're vibing out right now, whether you're masculine or feminine, is Empress of Wands. Look at that. Yeah, it's nice. That's nice. And then the love yourself, self-respect makes you more uh, romantically attractive. <sighs> I think if you are going through some type of separation or some type of uh, divorce or some type of uh, relationship change or upheaval, um, it is for the greater good because you're focusing on the fact that you love yourself first. So even if you're happy and, and you know, with your partner and, you know, you love them, you know that you need to be happy first uh, and you need to love yourself first. Uh, for others of you, when I look at the Empress, the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. I really feel like um, the masculine energy in your situation um, is really, really, really wanting to keep this thing together. Um, they, I, I can see that they adore you and they're wanting to listen to you. They're wanting to be there for you. They're wanting to be present to support you, to help you. Um, and so remember that as you're journey on um, this week, okay? Um, that your partner is there for you. If you are single, you might be feeling kind of like, uh, you might be feeling like, you know, you're never going to find the one. You might be feeling like, you know, I'm going to be single forever. But baby, you're vibrating at Empress energy, okay? And so a King of Wands may be approaching you or maybe within your area, Leo Sagittarius Aries. But with the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands, I really feel like if you're single at this time, your focus needs to be on your personal uh, growth, your financial growth, your abundance, um, and being able to vibrate at a frequency that is not lack right? Five of Cups is very lack energy. And so that love yourself first is really important for you to vibrate at. All right. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for watching. Um, as I shared, please go check out uh, Starcy Jewels, my jewelry line. I'm wearing uh, Malojo right now, today. And I also got a bunch of new pieces, uh, masculine, feminine, they, them, all the types of jewelries are down there for you. Uh, what else is there? Book a reading down at the description box below. And also to follow me across other social media channels and sign up to my mailing list. All right. Because I always do goodies for the mailing list. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.